Okay, Narendra, you asked a question uh, concerning this. You didn't know how to approach it. Uh, first of all, uh, we're seeing that there is uh, rolling without slipping. Yeah? So right away we can conclude that this coefficient of friction is really not going to come into play. Yeah? Because there is no relative motion going to be uh, at the point of contact. Yeah? So uh, we know that we're going to be ignoring that. Uh, the force is also not really relevant, uh, again, because we are concerned about the angular momentum itself. Okay? Uh, so that's what we will uh, look at. Let's uh, First, we need to place the point uh, roughly. Okay? So we have two configurations, one where that point P is below the center of the disk, the other where it is above the center of the disk. In the top figure where it's below the center of the disk, you can see that uh, as it's rolling towards the right, uh, omega obviously is clockwise, and so the angular momentum due to omega is also clockwise. Um, the angular momentum due to V about the point P will be in the direction of X bar cross V bar. And you can see from the right hand rule that that is also going to be clockwise. Uh, in the bottom figure where P is above the uh, center of the disk, omega direction does not change, but you can see that X bar cross V bar now is anti-clockwise. So in the first case, you can see that the angular momentum is not going to be conserved because the sum is not zero. Both of them are in clockwise direction and uh, they will keep uh, as, as it uh, goes on with the force there will be some acceleration and omega will change and as a result omega and v will change and therefore these two quantities the angular momentum uh, both due to omega as well as due to v will change in their magnitudes and if they are adding up they will obviously the sum will also uh, uh, change whereas in the bottom figure it is possible at one point that uh, the amount by which uh, the angular momentum due to omega changes is exactly countered by the amount uh, by which the angular momentum due to V changes. Okay, because they are in opposite directions. So, now it's clear that uh, therefore P should be above the center of the disk. Angular momentum due to omega is simply I omega. Uh, I is mR squared by 2 here. Angular momentum due to V is M into uh, X cross V, so M X V. Now there is no slipping, that is the important point, so right away we can see that uh, V is equal to R omega. Equating the two in terms of magnitudes, MR squared by 2 omega is equal to MXV and you can solve and see that X is equal to R by 2. And therefore the distance of point P from the point of contact will be 3R by 2.